Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Hopefully this one will be another short one. Just after Christmas 2021, I ordered this stunning limited edition Leonardo Memento Zero Jonathan Brooks Earth Magic 2 fountain pen. Boy, that's a mouthful. For my own personal celebration of reaching 1 million views on my YouTube channel. When I ordered the pen, I added the $30 wrench so I could disassemble the MCG and my Ferrore Grande piston filler Leonardo's. I was informed that the piston wrench actually came with the limited edition MZG, so I cancelled the wrench order. A month later, the pen finally arrived with no wrench. Plus, I had an additional problem with the nib. You see this incredible engraving of a quill and ink bottle? Well, that's the logo of the Dutch Pen Show 2021. This pen was the limited edition design specifically for the Dutch Pen Show last year. Something extraordinary happened when I inked the pen. Oh, it wrote beautifully, but the ink kept welling up on the top of the nib there, and I discovered it was leaching through the engraving um, on the top of the nib of that quill. I got in touch with Salvatore and my retailer, and to make a very long story short, 10 full months later, I have a replacement nib and the Leonardo wrench in my hands. So now I can do my planned Leonardo piston filler disassembly video right now. So during the time I was waiting for this wrench, I acquired a third piston filler to go with my Ferrore Grande and my Momento Zero Grande, this Leonardo Momento Magico in Smaraldo which I reviewed just last week and you can see that video review right here. So what I'd like to do is take these three Leonardo piston fillers apart for you and show you how to clean and maintain them. First let's open up the Leonardo wrench. There's a QR code on the back that leads to a video that Salvatore did that shows you how to use the piston wrench but we're going to do that together. On the front side it says made in Italy and there's the wrench. Let's just open this up. And there's the wrench. And you can see it says Leonardo Officina Italiana right there with the Leonardo Wings logo. And you can see it's a fairly solid piece of stainless steel that has still has the that has the mill marks on it and these little claws here that help in disassembling the piston so we're going to take a look at the Momento Zero Grande to begin with we're going to take the cap off and we're going to unscrew the piston I've already cleaned this pen out so I won't get ink all over myself if you open the piston there's a couple of notches there and there that these little hooks hook into so you open the piston completely and then slip the wrench in there until it gets into that slot and that slot on the back as well and if you hold it there you can screw down the piston knob on the wrench to hold it in place and then you're going to push the wrench away from you because unlike pelican pens uh, this piston assembly goes in in the conventional sense which is clockwise to tighten and counterclockwise to loosen which is righty tighty lefty loosey so we're going to go to the left and we can spin that right around there it should be clear now and that wrench holds on to that piston so you can pull that right out of there there we go now we got our piston apart I want to show you one thing here this ring is not attached to the bottom of that barrel. So do not lose that if it comes off. I try to leave it right there. So it'll go right back on. And then you see the piston mechanism here and you'll see this threaded rod here has some white material on it. I believe that is lithium grease. Do not wipe that off. That's very important uh, to keep this thing lubricated. But here is the piston itself 
you want to make sure that that is lubricated with some silicone grease but you can also pull this nib that's what we're going to do next we're going to pull the nib we're going to use a small piece of rubber elastic and put it over the nib and then i'm going to grab onto the nib using the shoulders of the nib and then i'm going to put my knuckles together this is a brian goulet trick and pull this way this way put my knuckles together for leverage and pull it out pull it straight out that's a tight fit that's what she said that's what she said that's what she said but there's the nib and here is the ebonite feed these are made in-house by leonardo and they're just like a sponge i just love them so you can clean that all out you can soak it in a glass of water you can soak your nib you can polish it with a jeweler's cloth and then you have your barrel completely by itself you can see straight through there you can run water straight through it it's much easier to clean a piston filler this way and when you want to put the pen back together again I've kept that ring on the piston so it stays there I'm going to add a little bit of silicone grease and we're going to add that just to the piston itself and then I'm going to insert the piston into the back of the barrel until the threads line up there we go and we go righty tighty we just tighten that just hand tight and we can release the knob and that wrench it should come off and now because I put a little bit of grease on there I'm going to run it back and forth a couple of times just to get that grease distributed along that barrel there now we can put the nib back together with the feed and the way you do this is you line up the nib and the feed so that the two edges right there uh, the top of that feed come right in line with those curves of the nib itself and then I'm going to hold it like that and I'm going to squeeze and push it in to the section there until it doesn't move give the nib a polish with my jeweler's cloth and we're ready to ink the pen now we're going to do that whole thing again with the Leonardo Momento Magico um, even though this is a much smaller pen it is the same size piston but we open that piston all the way and put this on the notches just like that close the piston down on top of the wrench and then lefty loosey righty tighty and again that little ring that separates the barrel from the piston knob stays with the piston it isn't attached so you have to be careful with it and there it comes right out so the piston's going to need some grease and just a little dab will do you and the nib assembly on this pen isn't an ebonite feed so it isn't friction fit it's part of a unit i'm going to put my elastic around it just to protect the nib and we're going to unscrew the nib unit and it comes right out just like that and there my barrel is free for cleaning the little cotton swab i can get right in there and clean that barrel out if i can put that piston back in again righty tighty and there's that ring on the piston hand tight just a nudge and then release the wrench then i can grab my nib and screw it back into the section and it's just that quick and easy to clean out your leonardo piston filler now i did have one issue and i'll end with here this is my leonardo ferrore grande in smeraldo this was given to me by salvatore matrone it was one of the very first of the yovo nibs this pen was probably manufactured in december of 2020 uh, just before leonardo went to yovo nibs in january of 2021 but unfortunately i put the wrench on this pen and i cannot 
for the life of me get that to budge I believe that is glued in place so the only way to clean out a piston filler that won't come apart for you is to just continually rinse water through it you can however pull this nib makes it a little bit easier uh, to clean out that pen so there you go so two out of three ain't bad I'd call that a success so if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted and please look in the description for a link to Goldspot pens as I'm now an affiliate of the online store and when you shop at Goldspot using my link you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you you can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and i guarantee i'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis badges and sneak peek unboxing videos as well and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote i made this